bet you any money that Charles is this nigga's father, bro. Sacrifice. Don't you talk to me about sacrifice, Charles. I had to send my son back to the island, knowing full well that... my son too, Eloise. Let's cut his dick off. That's what I would have done. Shit, if you I was Norman... <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Mad Men reactions, man. Season three still going strong here man we are enjoying at least i am enjoying it you guys will let me know as much also it's doing pretty well on the channel as well so hopefully we can grow from that anyways guys um of course we're gonna just jump into these episodes uh hopefully that we can see some character development that's going on in this story right now um because these characters they, they're just off the rails bro <laughs> they, they're just doing things it's just like these regular lives that they're supposed to supposedly supposed to be living and they just comes hiccups and hiccups and hiccups it's kind of like our daily lives just meeting those challenges at the as they come and we just got to deal with them i mean betty now you know finding out confronting don about this entire situation it is is you know what i mean i don't know what she's going to do as i said i think she's going to figure out a way to get uh, or she's going to use this as leverage to leave Don. i don't think that's the best thing to do because i don't think this is like um i can understand where you can go off the rails and say that you know this is a deal breaker from for marriages i don't believe it 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 is in their case i don't think it is some people might think it is because you can say well he's been living this life of lies you don't really know who he is but this man has been taking care of you this entire time you know what i'm saying so you gotta factor in the good as much as you want to factor in the bad so we'll see how that um progress anyways guys if you want to see more episodes of Mad Men, of course you can go check out the patreon link will be down in the description you can go watch ahead and see where i'm at over there if you have not seen the intro yet okay i usually post a clip from the season in my introduction so make sure you go check out the picture anyways let's jump into the reaction and i will see you guys right after for the review let's go I believe I have what is rather disappointing news. It's been decided that Mr. Cosgrove will be made senior vice president in charge of account services. Really? This is not to ignore that you've distinguished yourself and been of great service to the company. It's become apparent that you are excellent at making the clients feel their needs are being met, but Mr. Cosgrove has the rare gift of making them feel as if they haven't any needs. Bert and Roger know about this? This is under my authority. And I have to commend you on taking it as well as you have. And there's also the situation where the company is being sold that you're not telling anybody. It's going to make Pete... It's going to make him want to leave. There you go. Jane! Get in here now! know you were home i overdid it at lunch as did you i heard i got her a beautiful present why the hell are you even talking to her you're screwing things up i'm tired of the awkwardness and i'm trying to be nice and i don't know what kind of world you live in but all right girlfriend jane you know we've we've all accepted the fact that you know what i'm saying Roger loves you now. You're married to Roger now. We all get it. You get what I'm saying? Like, we all get it. But you also got to understand the nuance with this thing. Like, 
you're you're not her step she's grown so you don't have to interact with her you get what i'm saying you don't have to interact with her you're a stepmom but you don't have to interact with her because she's grown she's she's grown enough to be getting married like if she says she doesn't want to talk to you then respect the boundary and don't talk to her you don't have to talk to her whether there's awkwardness whether there's this and that you don't have to interact with with them you get what i'm saying you just don't i understand the situation that you're in but you don't you don't have to interact with these people come on man stop it i am the good person here you're not good oh god because you didn't listen <laughs> to me and you really upset her I'm your wife. Oh, and guess what? I live here and I get to do what I want to do. So stop trying to tell me that you know better. Do you remember if he said anything about how much they want you to stay? No. That's good too, so it didn't come up. Trudy, I'm going to call Duck. No, you're not. They would have fired you if they wanted to fire you. You need to wait and see how it goes. Peter, you hold all the cards. It's going to be fine. Is this official? Yes. I'm afraid we can't hire Mr. Shaco. Well, at least you had the guts to send me a memo. Salvatore Romano is gone. There is no one in charge of the art department. I haven't heard a complaint from any of the clients. Jesus, it's hotter in here than my office. That's because you're overexcited. Isn't that you want me to hot? walk you through a delivery schedule? There has been an attempt, as perhaps you know now, on the life of President Kennedy. He was wounded in an automobile driving. And none of these people in here know what's going on. What? Full top of the president's car was down. They drew their pistols, but the damage was done. Oh, dear God. Is he dead? Shh. Yeah, he died. <laughs> he died at the hospital, though. Two they priests in died. Dallas who were with President Kennedy say he is dead of bullet wounds. There is no further confirmation. This is the only word we have indicating that the president may, in fact, have lost his life. What's going on? Because it was only on October the 24th. Vice President Lyndon Johnson <clears throat> has left the hospital in uh, Dallas. I gotta call my kids. Know. Uh, to where he has proceeded. It's so rude. Why are the kids watching this? What am I supposed to do, Don? Am I supposed to keep it from them? We looked at him and he was. You two look at me. Two shots rang out and he grabbed his chest. Everything's going to be okay. We have a new president. We're all going to be sad for a little bit. And here we are. Lyndon Johnson, more of the same. Nobody voted for him. It felt for a second like everything was about to change. You should get your coat and your scarf. I know it's far, but I really feel like walking. One thing to go to this wedding and act like I don't hate them. It's another thing to go and act like the president hasn't been murdered. Maybe they'll cancel it, but we have to show. Have you been drinking? The whole country's drinking. <laughs> we have to celebrate some. That is bad. Is um, <laughs> he's hilarious. All right. So my thoughts on this, because it seems like the whole feels like the country should come to a halt, and this is something that I struggle with thinking about. Right? Because because. You're saying this on it. You're saying this on the internet, and you know you want to be also careful. You know, mind you, if a president gets assassinated, should you feel like the daily life? You think that everything should shut down, businesses should shut should shut down, send everybody home, and you know have a public grieving? Um, I don't believe so. Because quite frankly, that's why you live in a that's why you're living in a country that has that's you you have these liberties, right? That's what the soldiers are fighting for when it, and that's what America stands for. So I believe that if somebody comes like it, you know what I'm saying? Like if somebody's saying, Well, I hated him anyway, that's a whole different story. You, you know what I'm saying? You don't 
you, you know, they still have the freedom of speech to say that and to feel that way. You can't stop them. But even if the president is beloved by everybody, right? I don't feel like the whole country should come to a halt. Quite frankly, I'm going to be honest with you guys. If, if the president of the United States should, should die, <laughs> it'll be sad. And I will understand that others will be sad. I don't think I would be. I'm, I'm just being honest. I don't think I, I would be sad. I don't think I would be happy either. You get what I'm saying? I don't think I would kind of sit in the middle, like very neutral about it because it's because it's like it my opinion it doesn't affect my my daily life so it's like i still gotta go out there and bust bust my tail i still gotta go out there and make things happen for me the president dying um it affects the country it affects the country but not in the way where i think that people should like everybody crying or Anything like that. you're seeing the differences with these, you know, different people's reaction in this, um, which is like we still got to carry on. We still got to do these things now. Weddings. Uh, I would say it's a good time to cancel weddings. You know, what I'm saying maybe do it on another day because it's not a it's not a happy. It, it's not time to have a happy celebrating moment. If you're like the day after the president, you're still having a wedding. I think stuff like this is like in a way inappropriate because it kind of seems like you're celebrating you know what i'm saying the, the president dying um i don't believe that the country should grind to a halt though i don't think that you know work people should go home and all this i, I don't think it's but <sighs> i don't know they'll never cancel With his children. you know why because they're happy. Maestro, do you mind? Thank you. Look, uh, everybody grab your plate and come on up to the front here. You sit wherever you feel like. And uh, please feel free to have the prime rib and the filet of sole. Help yourself. I mean that. There are no waiters. <laughs> Sir, you're the president. How would you know that's what that a monster building? looks like? Naturally, if I work in that building, yes, sir. Did you see the times? You lived in Russia. I thought he just visited. You... Bruh. <laughs> you know what the funny thing is? She's asking, how do you know that that's, that's what a monster looks like? Yo! I'm pretty sure that people were dying every day before this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all making it seem like, yo, li listen... The thing, the thing about it is this. Yeah, looking at this from a realistic perspective, right? In a, in a realistic world, people... I'm pretty sure President Kennedy was not the first person to be shot in the United States, okay? Okay, I get it. He was the president. Hold the highest office in the country. Cool. But to make it seem like... This man is the only man is, that has been murdered in, in, like, forever. Like, there are other monsters out there. But I guess those were the times where, where it's like, crime was... I don't know what crime was like back in those days. I don't know if the crime rate was as high as... I'm pretty sure it, it's not as high as it is today, right? So maybe it's kind of surprising that people were get That someone in, you know, at the president getting shot... Don't get me wrong. It should shock everybody, but so should other people getting murdered as well. I'm just a patsy. There you are. What are you doing here? They're about to interview Oswald. Hey, somebody go buy a cake. The adults, we all wanted to be strong for you, but your spirit, your love, your hope is giving us strength. And I promise you now, if you can make it through a day like today, marriage is a cakewalk. If you're, if you, if you, if you had a wedding planned, if you had a wedding planned for the day after the president got shot, would you still carry on with your wedding? Would you cancel the wedding or would you still carry it out? That's the question I have for you guys in the comment section. Let me know. 
Me personally, I don't think I would because, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's just a principle of it. I don't mean I don't think I would be sad about the president getting shot, but I think <laughs> I think just the principle of it all just would keep me from doing it. <laughs> That's a beautiful shot right there. Shot. Oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, I forgot about this. They that shot Leo's him. Did get shot. The police were walking him through the building and some man ran up and shot him. He's leaving. What? So it's Don's fault? What <laughs> I'm going out. Let me drive. I'll get the kids. We'll all go somewhere. That's a good idea. No. I need to clear my head. I'm so glad you could see me. What does your husband think you are? I don't care. He's been lying to me for years. I couldn't be in that house. It will be OK. We've lost a lot of presidents, and we're still standing. I wish I could believe you. I can't believe anything right now. I want it to happen. I have three children. I'll know more when the primaries start to shake out in spring. But I can leave the campaign right now. I don't want you to do that. You don't have to answer me now. But I want to marry you. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. The mistake that practically every man makes, thinking that... <laughs> Their responsibility is to make another human being happy. <laughs> Bruh. The only people we are responsible for their happiness is children, not adults. We are not responsible for other people's happiness. Remember that, guys. I don't know where to begin. Looking around. What? She's gonna divorce you, Don. I want to scream at you for ruining all of this. You're very upset. I understand. I, I know it's painful, but it's going to pass. You still think this is about the president died? <laughs> Come I don't on, man. love you. That's don't. Kissed you yesterday. I didn't feel a thing. You can't even hear me right now. You're right. I thought this was going to happen. It's been open all day. Great numbers of people have stopped. Cause this, man. I can't. I can't. You gotta have to take this L. Cause this, this is all on you. This is all on you. This is your fault. A hundred, a hundred percent. This is your fault. The hell is she wearing, bro? Morning, Daddy. Morning. Where are you going? I have to go to work. I'm sorry. It's cold outside. I'm fine. She didn't even say a word to him. Damn. Said, <gasps> talked about the very same thing in the in the review here, but just to reiterate a little bit about you know, if I could be a, lo a little bit more clearer on what I was saying about the episode, um, I will describe the type of person that I am. Right, the type of person that I am when it comes on to seeing things happen and understanding how it happens and as a style some people don't believe that you can understand something and not feel anything about it you get what i'm saying like i understand that people suffer in the world it doesn't mean that i feel you get what i'm saying so 
it's it's a situation where i've been in crazy situations i've told you guys that you know throughout my life i've been i've been homeless right and i know that most i know that there's a lot of people that didn't care that much you get what i'm saying were these people that i expected to care that much no not really there's just people that i knew in passing that i told that i was homeless and they was like man i understand that situation man and you came out okay you know what i'm saying you came out okay i'm glad you're out of that situation and that was it did did they grind to a screeching halt and start crying about my situation that i was already out of no <laughs> you know what i'm saying nor did i expect them to you get what i'm saying so um i think i was kind of convoluting my statements of what i was trying to say because i mean having empathy does not mean that um it doesn't mean that you have to care that much if i'm saying that correctly i don't know how to express this fully what i can clearly tell you guys right what i can clearly help you guys to understand about me and myself right right i feel like there's certain things that human beings care about it's kind of like how um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen um, the clip of Patrice O'Neill. If you ever should ever look up Patrice O'Neill. Says some really interesting stuff during his comedy bits. And one of the things that one of his stand-up things start out with is 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 like he's he's just one of those people that do we really care that much about what we see in the news? You get what I'm saying? It's like you you hear that a mom just lost you know what i'm saying in a car accident and she, her and her three kids died right and then you'd be like yes i'm i'm definitely going to care about this and then boom you realize oh i could still sleep quite fine <laughs> right so really and truly you don't really care that much because you're not close with that person you understand that this is not your typical thing or you understand that this is tragic you understand that it's sad but you yourself don't care about it that much you get what i'm saying like when something bad happens to people that i know that are close to me like i know that i care that much i know because it freaking keeps me up it keeps me up i cannot sleep you get what I'm saying? So that's how I know that I don't care about that other stuff that much. That's why I'm telling you that if the president dies, not that I'm wishing death upon him, God forbid, he's my, you know what I'm saying? He's going to die anyways. You get what I'm saying? It's inevitable that we all going to die one day, right? But just for the purpose of the argument, if it should happen and you know it happens to just be you know to say for instance same thing that happens to jfk right if that happens to the president that lives today i'm just saying i wouldn't care that much you get what i'm saying because i'm not close with biden i'm not close to him i'm not family or anything like that and i think that's true for most people in the world but if you feel differently cool if you want to, if you feel like you need to shut your whole life down because somebody that's not, that you don't know personally or anything like that dies and you're crying your eyeballs out for them, that's cool. I understand because overall it is a sad situation, right? It is. So I can't beat you up for that. I can't say, oh, you shouldn't feel that way because I'm not telling people how to feel. I'm just telling you how I feel about the situation just to clarify what i'm saying so in this episode of course at the end it dealt with the whole thing did they, they went through the motions jfk getting assassinated lee oswald as well getting assassinated in custody which i think i 
I don't remember the story exactly, but I do, uh, as I, I forgot about that part, but I do believe it was said that, th that it was a setup for, for him to, 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 um, get shot that it was a setup or, uh, I don't, I don't remember if they found it. This is just like how in a closed off room like that, it's either, it was a setup. This is my opinion. Okay. I don't know exactly what the story is. If they ever found out or anything like that, cause I haven't researched these things extensively, but just looking at the situation from the eyeball test and, 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 and seeing what happens, right? Are you saying that? Even if you, even if you're looking at this, this was a closed off room. How do you not catch who did this to Lee Oswald? You know what I'm saying? I mean, <laughs> I'm probably going to have to dive a little bit deeper into that later on. But anyways, at the end of the episode, we saw that Betty decided that she's going to leave Don. I'm guessing she didn't say divorce. But she told him, I don't love you anymore. And quite frankly, it is true. She doesn't she doesn't love him anymore. I think that's been going on way before she found out, you know, what was, you know, what Don has been lying to her about this entire time. I felt like she was out the door a long time ago. She was just going through the motions. And that's why I told you guys that I, that I think that by the end of the by the end of the series, um, Betty's going to divorce Don because I, I I saw this coming right I saw this coming I didn't know it was gonna happen here and now in season three but I was like she's either gonna use the information that she has as leverage to get out and also get something more out of the marriage because remember what the lawyer told her is like stay you get what I'm saying but now she can use that to get something out of the marriage because he's like oh um, you know, she doesn't want to lose the kids because the, the lawyer told her that if you do this, if you decide to divorce Don, you're not getting the kids and you probably end up not getting anything out of the marriage as well. I don't know. I guess the laws were way different back in the day because now the, the now nowadays divorce laws swing highly in the favor of women. So, you know. You know what I'm saying? Like 80, I think it's like 88% of the time that, that the, the, um, the woman gets custody of the kids, like full custody for that matter. Not even shared. Like the, whenever shared custody happens, it's because the wife wants <laughs> shared custody. If she wants a hundred percent custody, she can have a hundred percent custody and she can agree to visitation or not. <laughs> like it's, it's insane. The laws, how far the pendulum is swing in the favor of women these days is is insane but that's neither here nor there but to me um as i told you guys before i think she sh um i you know i think she should stay but at this point you know what i'm saying how i feel about this episode i i think it's better if they're split like i've i've come i've done a 180 as well on the on this situation i don't think I don't think they should stay together. I, I think they're going to be sorry for you, especially when a woman is telling you they don't love you anymore. What woman will keep you around for? You get what I'm saying? Other than you being a prisoner, <laughs> like other than you being a prisoner, I'm holding you hostage. What am I keeping you around for? You say you don't love me anymore. Right? So that simply means that that simply means that I'm going to be in a loveless marriage, a sexless marriage, a just bad looks everywhere every time i walk into the room you're you're not talking to me you know what i'm saying so i'm just keeping you around to annoy me like you get what i'm saying so at this point i think don should just take this l this is all his fault i it's it's a, it's a hundred percent his fault why this all is happening to him it's a hundred percent his fault i can't put any of this blame on betty even though, don't get me wrong, I still don't give her a pass for cheating. You are still married. Don't cheat. Don't be kissing no other dude and all this other stuff. But I get it. You know what I'm saying? I get it. But either way, man, I'm moving on to the next one. Leave a like, leave a comment. Catch you guys later. Peace.